Hi, my name is Sammy from Body and Birth Physiotherapy and today I'd like to share with you a few of my favourite standing stretches that you can do during your pregnancy to help to manage or prevent lower back and pelvic girdle pain and then also to prepare the pelvis for the good mobility that you're going to need during labour and childbirth. So the stretches that I'm going to do today are all standing so you can do them throughout your pregnancy as long as you feel comfortable. Um, often I'll use a kitchen counter or something, something to lean my upper body on but you don't need a counter necessarily, you can use a chair, you can use even the, the seat of a couch. Um, but we'll pretend it's a counter for now. I'm going to rest my elbows down, feet come back a comfortable distance, <sighs> letting the spine and the pelvis and the tummy relax and then bum moving backwards until you get a gentle stretch down the back of both legs. So this is a nice stretch for the hamstrings, also creating a little bit of space and opening up through the pelvis. You can hold this for as long as feels good for you, but anywhere between 10 seconds or maybe even up to a minute if it feels really nice. The other upside is that this forward leaning position helps to get the weight of baby off your back if your back is a little bit tired. Um, and forward leaning helps to encourage optimal fetal positioning. So that is encouraging your baby to get into the best position ready for labor and birth. Another easy stretch from here is to take the feet a little bit wider. So I'll just turn on a bit of an angle so that you can see. And once you've got your feet wide, you're still comfortably resting, so your upper body supported by your arms, you can shift your hips over toward one side we're looking for a stretch on the inner thigh, higher up, and then shifting them over towards the other side. Again, this could be holding for a certain amount of time if it feels good, or just going back and forth. And this is often a position that mamas say they quite enjoy laboring in. Not quite into the full stretch, but feet apart, upper body supported, and just having the ability to sway and move their pelvis during labor. Another one that I really like is to get your upper body involved as well. Hands are on the kitchen counter, walking your feet as far back as you feel good and then letting your chest and shoulders lower down. And this is getting quite a nice stretch or mobilization through my upper back as well. It kind of looks like a downward dog from yoga, except you don't have to be totally upside down. And then finally, the last one is more for the front of the hips or the pelvis. So we're going to take what I like to call a stride stance. So one leg in front of the other. We've got both hips squared facing uh, whichever way your feet are going. And then gently tucking your pelvis under until you get a little bit of a pull or stretch at the front of that hip. So it doesn't have to be a full on lunge. <laughs> Instead, we're just trying to create a little bit of opening or length at the front of the pelvis. And you would, of course, repeat that on both sides. So hips square, pelvis tucks a little, and then feeling that gentle stretch on the other side. You can do these stretches as many times as you like throughout the day, especially if you're only holding them for short periods. So you might hold for say 10 seconds to 15 seconds, but do them six times throughout the day. Or you might enjoy holding them a little bit longer and maybe do them three or four times throughout the day. There is no harm in doing them more frequently as long as you feel good but I would encourage you not to push into the stretches. So we don't need to look for the most intense sensation ever. We're just looking for a really gentle pull and exposing your body to these different positions and movements. And again, their aim is to help reduce or manage pelvic girdle pain. So any pain around the pubic symphysis joint, the lower back, the pelvis, so the sacroiliac joints, and then the tailbone as well. Um, while preparing your pelvis for the mobility that it needs to get ready for birth. So I hope you find those pointers helpful. Um, feel free to like and subscribe and leave any comments if you have questions.